Hello and welcome to Pixel Magic Tutorials. I'm your host Geekman and today we're going to learn how to create a retro vintage poster effect in Photoshop. Now a couple of assumptions I need to get out of the way right off the bat. Number one, I'm using Photoshop CC 2017. If you're using an earlier version of Photoshop, some of the effects may not work as expected. Second, I am using Windows. So if you're using a Mac, when I say hit the control key on the keyboard, that means hit the command key. And when I say hit the alt key on the keyboard, that means hit the option key. So with all of that out of the way, let's get started by hitting control N on the keyboard to bring up the new image dialog box. Okay, and let's uh, name this Retro Vintage Poster Effect because that's what we're doing. Now the width that we want is 3840 pixels, the height is going to be 2160 pixels, resolution of 150 pixels per inch, RGB color 8-bit, background contents doesn't matter, we're going to put a photo over this and fill the whole image with it, so it doesn't matter. Uh, the uh, color profile that I'm using is Adobe RGB 1998 and we're using the square pixel aspect ratio. Hit create and we are ready to begin. Now the first thing that we do is we get an image into our uh, or photo into our image in order to create the effect because this is not something that you do from scratch that way you need an image to apply this effect to now i have a link in the description below where you can download the same image that i am using it's a free image so feel free to download it and follow along or you can use any image that you want any photo any uh, drawing anything that you might want to use this effect on. But I'll use this image of this girl in uh, a little red dress like this. Now, uh, once you have the photo in your image or whatever it is that you want to use uh, to apply this effect to, what you want to do is you want to make it as large as you want on the screen. So I'm going to make her fairly large like so. I think that looks pretty good. Uh, dead center is fine. And then we have our image. Now I purposely chose this image because as you can see, her eyes are not in focus, okay? What's actually in focus on this image is this guy right down here, which is her shoulder, okay? Her shoulder's in focus, her eyes are not in focus, which is probably why it's for free on the web. Uh, but it doesn't matter for this effect because this effect is gonna take out a lot of detail and turn it into what looks like kind of a vintage uh, retro poster effect. So I just wanted to show that this works with almost any image you might have. All right, now that we have this in here, you can, if you want, uh, cut out your main subject from the background. You don't have to. This effect works equally well with no background or with a background. So I'm not gonna bother cutting her out from the background. It's not necessary, okay? But if you wanted to, you could cut her out from the background and then just keep her uh, all alone or whatever your image is. So once you have the uh, photo, insert it into this image and as large as possible. What you want to do is you want to convert that layer, that photo, into a smart object. Now, I automatically do that when I bring in photos into Photoshop. It automatically turns them into a smart object. But the way that you do that is just right click here and you go down here to, uh, con uh, where are you? Uh, convert to smart object right there. Okay, once you do that, then it is a smart object and then we can do all these other effects to it and everything will look the way it's supposed to. Okay, once you have the smart object, the next thing that you wanna do is you wanna make a total of four copies of this layer. So the way that you do that is you select the layer and I have here girl in red. So now I'm gonna hit control J three more times and now I have four copies, one, two, three, and four. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna name them one, two, three, and four, just so that you can follow along. Uh, you don't normally have to do that, but this will make it easier for you to understand which layer I am working with rather than girl in red layer this or girl in red copy layer that. So here we go with uh, layer one. That's the only one that we wanna see right now. So now we've got our four layers. We're gonna hide two, three, and four. And we're gonna start with the bottommost layer, which is layer one. Okay, and on layer one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here to filter, we're gonna go to blur, we're gonna go to Gaussian blur, and we are going to make this a Gaussian blur of three, a very light Gaussian blur for an image of this size. So you hit okay, and we now have our first smart filter of Gaussian blur. The next thing that we're going to do is we're gonna go up here to filter, filter gallery, and we're gonna to go to cut out, not stylize. So cut out can be found under artistic, cutout and then what we want to do here is we want the uh, cutout filter to be number of levels three 
edge simplicity of six, and edge fidelity of three. Okay, and that will give you this kind of a look. All right, then you want to hit OK. And we now have the beginnings of our image, okay? So then we can hide our smart filters like that, and we can open up and, uh, or at least unhide, layer two. Okay, now layer two, the first thing that you want to do uh, with layer two is you want to set its layer mode over here to divide, like so. The next thing that you want to do is you want to change its layer opacity here to only 50%, like so. The next thing that you want to do is make sure that you still have layer two selected. And we want to go up to filter, filter gallery, and then we want to go down here to brush strokes and down here to sprayed strokes, like so. And the stroke length we want is five, spray radius of 25, stroke direction of right diagonal. Hit OK, and you can see that we now have this kind of sprayed effect. So if I uh, you can hide the, uh, the smart filter there. And if you turn off layer two and turn on layer two, you can see the difference that we are getting there already. Okay, the next thing that we want to do is we want to unhide layer three, like so. And then what we want to do is we want to change its layer mode, layer three's layer mode, to subtract. And then we want to change its opacity here to only 70%, like so. The next thing that we want to do is we want to go up here to uh, Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. And we want to change this from a 3 to a 6. So our radius is 6. Hit OK. Then the next thing that we want to do on Layer 3 is we want to go to Filter, Filter Gallery. Then uh, we want to go down here to Stylize and Glowing Edges. And the options that we want here are going to be an edge width of 1, edge brightness of 20, smoothness of 10. And then we want to hit OK. And we now have this look going on here where you get a little bit more definition on, on certain parts of her. Okay, so uh, if I turn off this layer and turn on this layer, you can see the difference right away. All right, and the last thing that we need to do is unhide layer 4. And this is what's going to give our... Uh, our image, it's, it's kind of color and look because without this layer, it looks like this. And what we are going to do now is we are just going to change this layer, layer four's layer mode to hard light. Boom. And now we have our finished and completed uh, retro vintage poster effect in Photoshop for any image that you might want. It's a very quick and easy thing to do in Photoshop. Uh, as you can tell, I managed to work this out really fast, much faster than most of my other uh, tutorials. And what you get is a very cool looking effect here. As you can see, uh, you still see her eyes. And like I said, her eyes were not really in focus, but you do get to see all the detail of her eyes. And it's a very captivating and very simple way to make an image look like a retro vintage poster. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up, and subscribe. I do new tutorials every Tuesday. And once again, this is Geekman signing off for Pixel Magic Tutorials.